Loser bracket final now be team team a Griffin and also forge your legacy. Left side we have Zashian, Leafion, Glaceon. Now we're also making a return of the buffs. Slowbro and Hooper going up against Mew, Umbreon, Buzzwoy, Clefable, and a Venusaur. Let's get it. Who's gonna make it to the grand final? Team Griffin or Forge Your Legacy? Team Griffin looking good in the loser bracket semifinal. And Forge Your Legacy was struggling earlier today in the winner bracket final. So I think it should be a pretty close matchup right here. Top path you have the Hooper and Zashian. Team Griffin getting a first pick on the Zashian in this game. But quite aggressive right here, looking for the last hit. What gun against Electro Boy. Electro Boy is going to get it. What gun a bit too early. Sets it up perfectly for the Electro Boy. And Mew is going to steal this one away. Zashin against uh, Buswell is an interesting matchup. I'm not sure which one is really favored. Zashin does get a lot of unstoppables at some point. But it's also always difficult as a melee to play into Buswell. So many stuns, smackdown, superpower, and Mew is lagging out. And Mew is going to go down. That is very unfortunate. <laughs> but. Yeah, he was he, he clearly legged out and uh, <laughs> goes to the left side. You know, it's a LAN tournament. Legs can happen. Sometimes the setup can be a bit wrong. And I think we're going to get another pause. Looks like team a Forge Legacy is just legging out right now. I'm getting a pause. There's the pause. Yeah, I was waiting for it. We're back in the game after the pause. Hopefully the legs have been resolved. Can Eevee get to level 4 right here? Not quite yet. Needs a bit more. Nice that XP share, of course. Numbrian's gonna walk up. One point is not enough. The one point, funny enough, doesn't give any experience. You have to have at least two points to be scored to evolve right here. One point doesn't give a single bit of experience, but two points does start giving experience. Not sure why that's the case, but that's why Eevee did not evolve there, but maybe still got in a stack anyways. They're actually going forward now. Has the with sword ready? It's gonna be quite difficult for Buzz for now until level 7. He needs Smackdown very badly, otherwise he's gonna keep getting stunned by that Sacred Sword. And he will not get his superpower out. We have a Hooper currently invading, as always. Hooper's looking to be invading every single game. Because the character just allows it. The character just allows it. There's not much you can do about it. Hyperspace port is so safe. And they're going to form an invade now. They're going to take away the red buff. And they're going to unite within as well. Team Griffin so aggressive at 754 members in the enemy jungle. Of Team Griffin also using Defin Unite already level 8. Oh, so much aggression. Now, Buswell is also going to fall. There's three members behind Buswell. Buswell is for sure going to go down. It's going to take a bit, but the Sacred Sword comes through. And Glaceon secures that KO. 83 points already for 17. And Griffin just starting where they left the last three edge, just being very aggressive. Got Ice even for Snowy. It's so not even Ice Seeker Spear. Even though we saw Ice, Ice Shard Ice Seeker Spear buffed. Still decides to go for that Icy Wind build, which is still also very, very strong. And this might be even better in this game, because you can't really basic attack too much anyways. Get that Icy Wind burst damage out. Venusaur level 7 has been chief, but already level 10 for Leafeon. And Leafeon already has Unite move up back as well again. Level 10 and Unite move is looking terrible for Forge Your Legacy right now. The solar base is doing a crazy amount of damage. And they're going to secure and try to secure this Regi now. He's going to try to steal it with the solar beam and uh, light screen, switch into it right now. Top odds where Jalecki is being taken by Forge Legacy. They now they have to give a bot lane. They're going to try to snipe it, but Leafeon is going to take down the Mew with that Unite move quite, quite easily. And Team Griffin is also still winning top path. They're winning 2v3 on top as well. They're also winning bot lane. Regisee goes there, and Hooper's going to sidestep from the Regilecki attack, but still has to walk back into the Gear Drain. Zashin going forward now with a Unite move doing so much damage. Venusaur gets cut into pieces. Buswell is also almost getting bursted down. Sacred Sword has to get away though. But say huge win for Team Griffin now. Massive, massive win for Team Griffin. 127 to 17 points now. They are neither Regilecki as well. They get Reggie on bot lane. That's a level 10. That's a level 10 Zashi now against a level 7 Buzzword. But there's the Smackdown and the Superpower. But no, they just get sliced down. They just get sliced into pieces. Zashi nerfs, not doing all too much. At least in this game for now. Sacred Sword was nerfed on the latest patch. But as you can see, it's still a very strong build. Regilecki also being taken. And Team Griffin looking absolutely unstoppable in this first game of the Losers Final. Wait, the FPS has 75. Can you get more FPS than 60 on like emulators or on phone? Why does he have 75 FPS? What is this? Uh, what is this magic? Glacier on 2 half HP, Leafy on 2 half HP. They're gonna use the Hooper unbound. They're gonna look for a top push. Onto the score with the Rigelicky, but Venusaur with a huge Unite is going to try to buy some time, but it's going to fall. Oh, the Solar Blade hits Clefable and Venusaur at the same time. That's three KOs for Leafeon. Level 12 already, five minutes into the game. 
And Sleepion is just so huge right now. 33 points going. They're going to finish off the second goal as well on top path. This is an insane stomp. This is an absolute insane stomp. 288 to 17 points. Slowbron bot path. Oh, what nice. Glacian's going to block the boost auto take and Gleefion makes the hyperspace port. The evolutions there helping themselves out, but Glacian's going to fall in the end. Gear Drain comes through and takes down the Glacian. At least that's one KO. Maybe Fortune Legacy can make a push happen down the spot. Go is slow, here with the surf. He's going to try to buy Love Time. Drops to half HP, but still, just buying Love Time. Hyperspace portal. Station is going to recoil. Where's the camera? Bot fight. So Beam is going to come through. Can they try to take down the slow bro? He's quite, quite tanky right now. Another beam comes through. They're going to have the next solar beam as well ready. In just a second, slow bro finally going down, but so does Umbreon. Basso is going to fall to the Zashian. Unite move. And now Glacian jumping in. Looking for the icy wind. Double kill for Zashian in the meantime. And Team Griffin are able to hold off their goal. And also get some more KOs in. Leafion with the Unite move as well. Onto Mew Mew has used Unite move there. On this one HP is going to try to go back in now. Who's going to get the Veggie Rockets down to 40% HP? There's this Venus Unite move in the Solar Beam, and he's going to not. No, he did get it. So much damage coming through with the Energy Amplifier. And Fortune Legacy. Get an objective, but they lose three members. Venus also is getting attacked by Slowbro, but should be able to get out quite, quite easily. So Fortune Legacy gets the objective, but if you lose three members, I think that's still much better to, you know, get three KOs over the objective. It's much more experienced. They also get experience from killing the goal. So overall, a fight for a fight wins for Griffin, even though they lost the objective. Objective doesn't do much if you don't get anything out of it. At least some experience, though, of course. Rich Lake, you know, being attacked by Forge Legacy, but Basso is already down as well. Having a terrible game so far. No chance. Beam of Mew is going to hit Glaceon. Trying for the Rich Lake last week. Can Venusaur secure it as well? This again. Venusaur comes through and no Solar Blade. Maybe the CQ and now Forge Legacy is going to fall apart right here. Umbreon with the Snarl is not going to get able to get out. Leaf Blade forward. Mew sitting in the bush. And I think might have. Maybe? No? It's rock walking away now. Trying to live maybe. With the Surf and Agility. But it gets taken down. 333 to 81 points. Forge Legacy is getting completely stomped. Completely stomped. What can we do right here? What can they even do? I mean, they're gonna hit level 13 for Venusaur. The Venusaur Unite can still turn the game around. Plus again, Team Griffin doesn't have any combat healing, they only have hyperspace portal. So once they take burst damage, there's no healing for that burst damage. They have to wait for the hyperspace portal, reset, and then come back alive. So... They get vibed by like a Venusaur Unite into Beam, into Double Beam from the Mew as well. Could be a chance. There's the Double Beam. <laughs> Trying to hit slow, bro. But it's such a bad spot for Forge Legacy. They somehow have to start Rekwaza. But they're also getting shanked by this Icy Wind Glaceon. It was quite, quite safe. Slowbro walking actually getting super powered Smackdown stuck in gravity. And he gets here move out, but he still dies. That's a 4v5. That's a chance of Forge Legacy. But they have to do something now. But they're so passive. Zashian's on the flank as well. On the right side, and so is Leafion. This is going to jump onto Mew. Mew's 1 HP has used Unite move. Superpower, Smackdown. Onto Leafion, but Leafion with that move speed of the Unite move is going to run away for now. But gets surfed on, gets taken now. Bus will flying up. And we have a pause. What is this pause? What? Anyway, back in the game, Glacion goes on to Bus Super Superpower landing onto Zacian. The fight is going to continue happening, of course, now. Hoopa and being smacked around. They could just lose the game right here. Team Griffin is going to fall. Three members down now. And Forge Legacy have to start up this Rayquaza. Do they have enough damage in time? Zashian is going to respawn, uh, is going to recall. And join back this fight, Rekwaza. It's really taking damage. Plus, we're trying to super power it on top of each other, of course, all the time. Hooper is around. They're dropping down HP. Zashian gonna try, but he's mean looked as well. Rekwaza low on HP now. They're gonna get it, but they still have to, of course, score points. There's gonna be the double beam, the double beam with this, with the this superpower is going to secure it. What can Team Griffin do right now? Zashian is down to 4v5. They have to score. 300 points, so three times you just have to press the button onto a goal. Two go in already. They see one more score. I don't know if this was rigged with that pause, but I mean, I guess the team fight was lost anyways for Team Griffin. There's one points going in. And Summer Forge Legacy is going to come back into this game. 30 seconds left, 50 point lead. Team Griffin cannot score back to the right side. After stomping the entire game, they lose the final team fight. And that's Forge Legacy. They're going to take a very unexpected 1-0 after getting destroyed throughout the entire match. Left for game number 2 and now we have Zashin and Mimikyu being banned out. Left side, Leafeon 
Clefable, Mew, Slowbro and Glaceon for Griffin. And on the right side, we have Inteleon, Umbreon and Blaziken making a return again. Look at that muscle band double stacking. And people call me weird for using muscle band on it. Venusaur and Blissey. I play, Venus I play muscle band on Blaziken because I think it's quite good utility as well. Now we get hate for it. Don't listen to Chris Bills. They are so bad. He plays muscle band on Blaziken. Wow, what a bad item. What a bad item on Blaziken. Oh my goodness, man. And before they lose, I mean, they did look weaker, so... I mean, Team Griffin looks like the better team, even though they lost last game in the last minute. Team Griffin looks like the stronger team right now. But we'll see. Maybe this time, Forge Legacy can have better early game. Because, I mean, they got destroyed last game. But that Leafion was snowboarding the game in Sandy Heart. And then Leafion just falls off late game, right? So... We have Darkness on that Blaziken with uh, Blissey top lane. And they're going up against Mew, actually, heading towards top path. And then, I guess, Leafion bot path? Yep, leave him bot path with Slowbro. And we mute top path against Blaziken. But we're getting three stacks right here. Mute didn't really stop him from stacking right now. Can you get the Electro Boys? The question Electro Boy, light screen. And yes, it will be enough damage to get that last hit away from the Blaziken. So, no stacks there. Darkness taking another Electro Boy, taking a lot of damage right here. Could be the first kill on bot path. X speed being used by Umbreon is gonna just run back to the right side. And no casualty for now on either side. But there we go, Glaceon's gonna take down the Shenzi. Team Griffin is diving up on this top goal against Snowy on that Glaceon. Trying to make the stuff done in the early game. And if you're getting that evolution done, slow as Solar Blade will be ready. You have these glasses. And another KO is where Blazing King goes down. So Team Griffin again, just like last game. Trying to dominate this early game as hard as they can. Minok is going to land, but I think Ambion's gonna fall. One more basic attack. One more basic wait, leave. <laughs> He's gonna die to the bite toy. <laughs> the bite toy had enough Fumbreon. If Team Griffin can't finish Avambrion off, then the Bite Toy will do so. I'm gonna secure these Atari as well. Even though you have Water Gun, Solar Blade, of course, can e e e easily match up the Water Gun now. And 24 points might go in as well. Yes, 24 points going for Leafeon. So it could just be, just like last game, where Team Griffin snowboards the game in Sandy Hut. They're also currently double invading. Ambreon trying to defend Forge Legacy's center area, but Hooper and Glaceon both invading at the same time. Oh, not Hooper, sorry. Glaceon and Clefable embedding at the same time. And they get a KO as well. Gonna take Wrap Up away. Mew also getting Blaziken. It's just looking last game again. Team Griffin is just getting KOs everywhere. Level 7 already for Snowy. Two minutes into this game. Level 6.5 for Leafeon. Oh boy. And Forge and Legacy are all level 5 right now. Everyone is level 5. Yeah, the cameraman in this tournament is terrible. I don't know what else to say. Clefable, Mike, go right here. Follow me. Going towards the left side. And it's gonna run away with the Moonlight healing. The Fable will be safe. The bot path they're fighting now. The camera is always on the wrong side of the map, I feel like. Glace he he missed every single Glaceon KO so far. Glaceon got like six KOs this game, and we haven't seen a single one of them. <laughs> Another KO on bot. He's like he's always on the wrong side. I don't understand. Like, come on, man. We missed almost every single KO so far in this entire game. It's been three minutes. Can't be serious. Lazy King getting close to level 7 now. He's from our last hit. And snipe shot this time for Forge Legacy. We have mainly seen liquidations in this tournament. But hits two big snipe shots here onto Glaceon and onto Leafeon. Both low on HP. And Clefave is going to try to heal them back up. Vegex is getting taken by Forge Legacy, is going to make quick work out of this. Muse trying to maybe steal it away, but can't fight get Vision, Blaziken and Blissey are zoning. Leafeon get another KO, and Rage Alecky secured here. And we missed another two KOs as well. We missed another two KOs on bot path. They're going to get the Rage Alecky in at least though, and they're going to get 30 points as well, dunked in. And they're going to finish off the first goal here on top path. Points also going on for bot path for Team Griffin. And Glacier meanwhile will be wanting the bottom path Reggie. With that icy wind on level 10, does a lot of damage against it, and Reggie's still secured. We are on level 8 now, 1 level 9 and 1 level 10 for Team Griffin, against 3 level 7s and 2 level 9s. So, not as big of a stomp as last game, but Team Griffin again with a solid lead, currently sealing Blissey uh, healing itself. Using a soft egg on cooldown, yes, soft bird, yes. Oh, can we see another soft bird? Can we see another soft bird? No! Egg bomb instead! Blissey goes for the Egg Bomb instead. 
Sla running around now. I don't know what the, yeah, we're spectating. The Blissey. Oh my goodness, man. What a play. Venusaur with the Unite. Oh, we see action on the bot path. Venusaur with that Unite move. And Tyrion has to run away. Very low HP. The fight's also breaking off. We miss another KO on bot path. Umbreon's going to fall. I think we have missed 90% of the KOs in this game so far. So that's a pretty, pretty solid uh, spectating job. I'm going to keep flaming the spectator. I don't care. Like, I'm sorry. What is this? At least you can make it somewhat entertaining with that. But we have missed 90% of the KOs in this game. Blaze the now, maybe onto Leafeon. Could this be the KO that we see? There's Solar Beam coming through, but not enough damage. And Leafeon is going to run away for now. He gets barely to safety. Oh, Eject Button with that Solar Blade trying to go for the KO into Blaziken. But it would have not been enough damage anyways, even if it connects. A bit too uh, overconfident there by the Leafeon. Trying to make a play. Tillion actually almost level 11 has pretty good experience, but Glacier is level 12 as well. Already has the free strike plus and the ice even plus. So this Glacier is super super strong right now. But they're gonna just burn through this Richard Lecky over. He's being charged up. Snipe shot being used as well. And they're gonna secure Blissey goes in on Blaziken as well. Blissey was ready, but Blissey still got shut down anyways. Slow bro eject buttoning forward. It's gonna take down Tillion. And Blaziken's also going to fall. Porch Legacy having no chance in this team fight. And again, they get the objective, but as long as they lose all their members. It doesn't really do out too much. It's going to be 50 and 37 points going in. Fourteen Griffin setting them himself to a 107 point lead. Ambryon's also going to fall. And finally, we were able to spectate some of these KOs. Team Griffin looking good again. But yeah, just like last game, Leafeon does fall off into late game. So let's see if they can uh, make it this time a bit better. Heading towards Bopes. Nori is level 13. These Icy Winds are going to do a lot of damage. A bit of those stacks back up, just lost them barely. But fortunately, he's looking for this fight. They're Venusaur Unite. They have four Unite moves up. They're only missing Blissey. Venusaur with the Unite looking for the one shot on someone, but only hits on the Fable. And Dex is already going so aggressive. Blissey gets absolutely destroyed. I'm just next one to fall. Priest Strike is going to freeze down Intellion, but actually, going to get Glaceon. Umbreon lives long enough to take down the Glaceon with the help of the teammates, but four are down. And it's going to be a full on ace. A 5 to 2. Win for Team Griffin still. But they found Glaceon. Glaceon is a lot of experience. Going over to the side of Forge Legacy. But of course they lose five members. And they're probably also losing this objective. Blissey's gonna try to steal it. Save Armory and they're actually gonna go for this one. Snile goes in. Looking for the mean look. But I mean, hey, bump! Oh my god, I almost said it. But the snipe shot from downtown. At least it's gonna take down Leafeon. And this Intelion's actually gonna be quite, quite strong. Auto level 30 now. For... Venusaur. So, Fortune Legacy has a chance again in this late game. They carry his Vibi level 13. But Snowy is level 14. As long as they keep this Glaceon somewhat alive, it's gonna do absolutely insane damage. Five seconds for Top Regidecki. Both teams are slowly moving towards it. Except for Slow Brumbrion, who are holding down the bot goals to make sure no backcaps are happening. Over he quite early charged up. Is he gonna sh even change style here? I don't think he is going to. No, he does change style. Which means he can't go for the overheat right now. Nice snipe shot there onto, onto Cliff Fable. And he's looking for the chaos, looking for the last hit. And somehow Blaziken still secures it even without overheat. And another snipe shot. And Terry being so aggressive now. It's a nice snipe shot onto Glaceon. Doing the 180 snipe shots now to make sure the enemies don't see it coming. Yeah, this, this final five is still be close. 1 0 lead again for Forge Legacy, so. Team Griffin loses this one, they're out of this tournament. And uh, Blaziken went for the back cap. The Regilecki. Yes, low bring light onto Blaziken, that's gonna instantly be a 4v5. Instant 4v5 now, and Team Griffin, they're gonna move forward now. They're gonna be very aggressive. They're gonna walk in as the three members into a sludge bomb, though. They have to be careful. You're already dropping low using Unite move, going very aggressive now. The camera is not moving at all. The fight is going on. Well, Bliss Assistance goes out. And I think Fortune Legacy is about to disappear right now. There's a beam coming through from you. There's a beam from Venusaur, but three members down, four members down of Fortune Legacy. Venusaur has to recall as well. Blaziken has respawned. But Team Griffin's gonna start working on this Rayquaza now. But Leafeon is currently in a back cap position. They could see this away easily. They have Overheat and Venusaur. But Blaziken is fighting. Blaziken is fighting going down. We get cameras going on the respawn. Venusaur currently in vision. Snowy's gonna jump over, freeze try into Icy Wind, into the Solar Beam, but he's gonna get Glaceon. And now the fight's gonna be super chaotic. Leafy almost going down to Rayquaza, gets slapped by Blissey, taken down. What is happening? Electro Ball onto Blissey as well. It's going to fall. It's now a 2 3 in favor of Team Griffin still. 
Side shot is there, but for Legacy is actually heading points. Side shot being shot up, it's going to get blocked, and who's going to get it? I'm pretty on. Nah, how did Team Griffin throw all of this away twice in a row? I can't believe it. Why did Leafion go for? I I'm so confused. But Forge Legacy is going to move to the grand final instead of Team Griffin. Team Griffin throws away two games pretty much. And they're going to be third place in this tournament. Oh my, oh my.